at TWC, we rely on a lot of data to help us understand and describe the Texas workforce and its role in the state's economy. From new job creation and unemployment, to average hourly wages, to the number of job openings, well, there's just a lot of numbers to crunch. Most of those numbers are just snapshots of the economic continuum. So we have to do our best to find the trends to help us visualize how we think the job markets and our economy might perform moving forward. It's not like the groundhog. We don't just get to see our shadow and then announce six more weeks of job growth. It takes a whole team of economists here at TWC to develop and analyze that data. I like to think I have a pretty good idea of how our economy is doing, but if you could say that I have my finger on the pulse of the job market, well, our data scientists have a full-on EKG. Our labor market information team does a great job of tracking trends and patterns. So, like Bill Murray in that iconic classic Groundhog Day, we get to practice over and over again to see how the state reacts to certain economic conditions, which at least gives us a starting point when a similar issue pokes its head out again in the future. Anyway, we'll see what Puxatawney Phil, Prairie Dog Pete, and Georgetown Jeff, that's the trash panda in my neighborhood, we'll see what they have to say about when we can expect spring to arrive. I'm still not sure why we think small mammals are the best meteorologists. I guess that's why we spend so much time and effort with the data. I'm not sure of Phil's track record, but I bet we do a better job than he does on workforce forecasts. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Cut, that's a wrap. Are you ready to start the next one? I am. We're rolling and action. Here at TWC, we rely on a lot of data to help us understand and describe the Texas workforce and its role in the state's economy. Hey, this is the same script we just did. No, it's not, just keep talking.